Hello everyone, my name is Teach Jared, and welcome back to the first tree. We just finished the winter and the spring biome, so now we're in the summer biome, I guess. I really should be calling them biomes, but we will for easy sake. We have learned more about the story of our dear fox here, and more about the, the person that, whose story is fun. I know there's some lights over there, and that's all I have a story to go. But I gotta find the story elements. So just like before, we'll cut around and do whatever we need to do. I guess we're going this way first. Also, I looked at the achievements, and there are exactly 150 stars! Now whether if we'll gain all 150 stars is, well, up to debate. Because I probably already missed several. And I don't know how much longer this game is we might have. The fall might be the last one. So... We'll find out in due time. But here is our first little burial ground. Dig, 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 dig. My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck, so we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. You know you can fix this relationship you have. You were a teen. It happens to everyone. Easily fix it. Someone thought, well, I missed this star, apparently. There we go. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, wow, there's like several stars around this one. What do we have here? We happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes, the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside. And we would Boy, finish Boy, our underneath a twilight sky. God, I haven't heard it, the Sometimes northern lights before. Sometimes I was lonely during long time. those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. I don't doubt that. Uh, no, I do doubt that because. Well, actually, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, whatever. Um. Yeah, the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights for people that don't know. I haven't heard it referred to that name in flipping ages. Now, why is that? I do not know. Why? I, it could just be it's faster, it's shorter, it's easier to say than the Aurora Borealis. Um, because when I hear Borealis, I think of Half-Life, and I don't think the ship was called Aurora Borealis. I think it was just called the Borealis, because I'm all about Portal. And, and of course, uh, when Portal gets involved, the whole series dies! So, yeah, that's what that is. But we'll continue on here and find some more stars and stuff. Three more stars. We got three more stars, 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 stars. Some more, you know, some kind of obstacle course now. I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. Whee! They would want to know that I have not been sucking at it like I was in the winter biome. The wild was so inherently bad. Oh, I don't know if I make that. Oh, I made it. Holy flipping cow. Proud of myself. Proud of Fox. Why is this one? Zero of 
What? Um... Got it! One of three. Okay! Mr. Magic Rock. Sure, I'll get on the other two cases as long as they're in this biome alone. What's that down there? Oh, let's go down. Whee! Uh, I don't know, but I mean, I found a mattress in here, I found some blueprints. So, what is this? Is this a tent? This is a very sad tent. Wow. <laughs> oh, whoever rented this tent in, good job. Oh my god, that's hysterical. You know, we find trucks as like five times bigger than they really are and then we find a tent that's completely almost flat but it's not you know can't be like oh but Jared it doesn't have the poles in it because you can see right there there's a pole going through it oh god it's just funny because it's I don't know if they meant to have it stand up or flat or if this is intentional but god it looks weird oh anyways we got more stars and apparently some stones to find and also the underground bears too there we are another a very ground on our what is property this? there were old abandoned pieces of a shed and car long left unused hmm. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk and I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards what's funny is I think it made those people seem more real growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but you know, I was a weird kid. <laughs> well. You had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> well, think about those voice, like the little storytelling. It just... It just sounds like they're right up next to the microphone and whispering in your ear with all those ASMR voices. <laughs> That's terrible, I'm cutting it out. <laughs> Oh my god, why are these shrubberies so tall now? I am not looking through shrubbery for a flippin' star. That star if that star was that clever to hide in the shrubbery, it could stay in the shrubbery for the rest of its life, because I ain't bothered with it. But oh my god. But I mean, I guess they are, like, you know, in the bed, but... Unless they have a child, there's really no need to whisper. Why is there so many? Eh, I got them all on my first try. Mmm, I'm proud. Here we are at the next burial ground point. Any more stars that I need to find because once I leave this area, we're not coming back. Even at my most distant, at the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me. 
but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I love sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Yeah. Don't be afraid to talk about things, guys. Some zine away at you with a relationship with your family, your friends, or whatnot. Just talk about it with them. What's the worst that could happen? Them to reject you and to cut ties? If so, then at least you were honest. At least you told them. At least you learned from it. And they've learned too. Nothing sucks but then to have either were you or someone else be pissed off and you'll never know why. Or disconnect. I don't think that's the fix. Okay. Uh, but I missed a stone and I need to find it so I can open up the roots. But I don't know where it is. It's not in there. It's in oh, I think I found it. So I failed that jump because I wasn't aware. There's a tiny little crop there in the rocks. So it'll probably lead me to the roots. I hear the sounds! Got that one. Got that one. Meow. Got it. Well, it's a shame that we weren't able to see that. That's my fault. I'm sorry about that. Here we are. And there are stars on both sides. It's a bit tricky to get to, but I think we can get there. Like I said, it's a shame that we weren't able to see these roots actually move. Uh, I do apologize for that. Come on. Jump. Okay. Got him. Let's move on to the next. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead. What? And he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories. What? I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry for everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't pull that over my eyes like that, game. First of all, Rachel said, Oh, you can correct that. You'll see him soon enough. In the beginning! See him again soon and have some closure. I'm sure. Good. That's why I root out his father being dead. You can't just say, Oh, his father's dead, because it sounds like these two are a couple. And you know, if you're dating someone, someone like, something like, Oh, I don't have a father anymore. It's kind of important, you would think. There is no way hell on earth that you're telling me that these two, which sounds like they're married already, have never talked about their parents. And if so, then there's no way hell on earth Rachel would be like, oh, you can correct it with him soon enough. Oh. What are you gonna do, wolf? Not wolf, yeah, wolf. <gasps> That close to swearing. You. you. I'm gonna show you what's for. I'm gonna show you what's for, you stupid fox! Wolf, not fox. Oh god, you scared the crap out of me. My children! You dick! You jump off that cliff, and you die! I can't get that now. Oh, 
Well, we know we're gonna miss one star. Our second couple of us dead. I heard the guy's father's dead too. I know I'm not. Okay. I'm not trying to be rude about if you lost a parent or a loved one. I'm really sorry. It really, really, really sucks. Even though in the beginning I lost my grandma, someone that was important to me. Now, I don't know what kind of connection you might have had with your parents or your loved ones, etc. But, so I have no idea how you're feeling. But the game can't, they need to change the dialogue then. Instead of her saying, oh, you could make it up to him soon enough. Because you can't. You obviously can't. All he could do is say sorry, but since his father's gone, there's nothing else he can do. <sighs> Where are we going to now? One thing I will say is that the fact that cubs get out here this far is pretty impressive for them. Oh, we're gonna get to the last one, he's gonna be dead too. I know it feels like I'm having no sympathy for this guy, and I don't mean it to be that way. It's very rare for me to kind of just not feel like I've connected with this character. I don't know, it's a bit weird, because I've played games that tell a story you know, through someone's life, etc. That made me cry before. I was, I did record one. Aether 1, if anyone's ever heard of that. I did an entire playthrough of that game. A beautiful game, by the way. One part, though, you couldn't pass. It's like a puzzle game, but you're going through memories, because it's about a per patient with dementia. And, of course, that's what I found out what the hell dementia was. Get, give me a break here. I've been three years into this. This was, like, two years ago, okay? I know that doesn't make it sound any better, but that's besides the point. Um, but there's one part of the game that was broken to get all the ribbons to get the true ending, which is what the memories represent, or the ribbons with ribbons. And I couldn't get the last puzzle. I had everything in place, everything was right, but the event wasn't triggering. And I couldn't get the proper ending. Also, the fact that it couldn't, uh, my editing software literally couldn't handle it. I'm not kidding, I couldn't even edit the videos down! Which is why I scrapped the entire project and deleted the ones off my YouTube channel. <sighs> but the true ending, I don't know what it is, and... I found one video with the actual true end cutscene. Because of the fact that the game, you can't do the other... Get all the ribbons. And I don't even know if that true cutscene is a real true cutscene or what, because either... Okay, if you're gonna watch it, if you're gonna watch Ether One, now is the time to watch it. Don't leave. Like, just, you know, just ignore this next part. But if you don't get all the ribbons, the patient dies. If you get all the ribbons, the patient lives. But I don't even know if that's true or not. So, whatever. We're not, we're not talking about Ether One. Bed. I just can't talk about this anymore. Good night. Hmm. Um... Okay, this is interesting, but- Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Oh, that was just the father. They must be newly dating. No, I don't know. I don't know the story. It's a it, there's there's some flaws with the story that might need revising. But I'm not here to talk about that yet. We're not at the end yet. But anyways, guys, my name's Yushir. I only really think this game down in the comments below. I'm sure I've said something. Anyways, guys. My name is G Shared. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that you think this game down in the comments below. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.
Bye.